Today is the day. I'm gonna start building the Pet of Paradise, the Pony Club. And it is Tuesday right now, and I want to move the horses there on Sunday. So we have a very limited time. I'm gonna record everything of the process of building it. I'm also gonna make a lot of how-tos so that if you are inspired to make a Pet of Paradise as well or to add some pedal enrichment to your place as well, then you can just watch all the videos and get started right away with your own place. <laughs> so wish me luck. So right now I am waiting for one company to call me that they're about to deliver the polls. I had a very busy day of texting and calling all com every company I know or could find on Google. And I found one that could deliver polls today. So I'm very lucky because I really wanted to place the polls. And just yesterday I heard that I was allowed to start building. And on Sunday I want to move there. So <laughs> a very busy time. Um, so I'm waiting for them to call me because they're like two hours away from here. So they're gonna, and they have a whole route. So they're gonna call me 30 minutes before they arrive there so that I can make sure that I'm there as well because I don't live at the place. That's a common question. I got many people think I'm gonna move there. Yes, I am moving <laughs> out of this house, but I'm moving two streets ahead and not to the Pet of Paradise because I can't move there. I, I, there's, I don't have the funds for that and there's also no permits for people to live there more than there are already so that's fine and i'm also waiting for a company where i'm gonna rent some equipment like a drill for drilling in the ground for the poles so if i get called then i can get those and get everything done that i want to get done today the weather is clearing up, so that's nice. But for now, I'm going to finish some of the happy stones. I have some plants with these, but this is what they look like. This is what they look like when I got them. I, we don't have any rivers here where you would be able to just get them. So I bought them just very smooth river stones. And I can get them in all kinds of colors. I already finished a few. I'm gonna make a treasure hunt with them. So on the front, they'll have cute drawings, like with a hoof. Yeah, <laughs> they're very shiny. And on the back, I will be writing letters and they will make a word. And that word will show children where they can find the treasure. And I also have plans for that as well, which is very nice for the for the birthday parties that I want to organize there. So I also made this one, but I don't really like it that much because it's too dark to really see the flowers. So I'm just going to make a few more before I get called. <laughs> and then I'll keep you updated and take you along and show you the place for the first time. All right, all the stones for the birthday parties are done and I'm going to make even more just for like little happy moments when you see them around the track and places where the horses can go but i think they all turned out very cute so i haven't heard anything yet but i will be walking poisy and then go go to aslan get the things that i need there like my camera tripod and my boots because it will probably be very wet there and then I guess I'll just slowly move that way hoping that when I arrive they arrive as well <laughs> that's the plan I just arrived at our current barn and this is a great test to see if it's too windy <laughs> to actually film talking at the new barn which I will hopefully very soon go to, to build. But for now, just gonna gather some stuff that I will need today from here and check on Assi. Because yesterday the new horse was introduced into the herd and Asnan got separated from the rest because and that is 100% a decision we made all together. Because with the new horse being introduced here, it would just be very stressful if Aslan would still be in the herd. So we decided to separate him 
so he doesn't have to deal with that and because he always thinks he has to manage everything around that and he doesn't because this is not his place anymore next sunday or this sunday and well this is all my stuff and what i need right now is the pifo and the tripod so i can film and i will need my boots because or i think i'm gonna use my boyfriend's boots because they are better <laughs> than those um because i think it's gonna be very wet over there he's looking okay together with his friend Rico. and he got a shelter which we agreed that i won't film and a water bucket and then the plastic hay cube hey buddy those boots are very interesting, huh? Hey, buddy. <laughs> I still didn't get a call. So I called them, the company, to ask if they have any idea when they will be there. And they don't, because she couldn't reach the truck driver. So now I'm walking at the park that we will be riding and walking in as well when we get here and it's very nice it's between two highways so one here and on the other side but it's very nice and calm and there are a lot of hills <laughs> and if you don't know the netherlands we don't really have hills here um, and these aren't natural either there is garbage <laughs> underneath here uh, that's how we create hills in the Netherlands. But it's really nice and it will be a great workout for the horses as well. So I thought I would just explore here and send the girls who will come here with their horses a short video of the place because they have no idea. And then hope that when I get back to my car I will be called. Hopefully. Otherwise I might go back home and wait there. We'll see. Nap time. And between here, we can see the spot. Let's see. <laughs> the barns. And my place will be somewhere behind the pole. And then we can right here our walk with the horses. Very nice. Now you can really see how hilly it is. <laughs> with the place over there. You can see just a small hill over here. And then a path on that side of the hill. This is where you would go under the highway. You can still see some blue of the buildings over there. So it's just a five minute walk to get there. And you can see a path down there. So you can already go into the park. We're really high. This is the city and this is the park. Very, very nice. Very, very windy as well. <laughs> I just gave up <laughs> after the walk I got rained on and I thought well I'll just go home uh, and then wait until I get called and then I drove into the tunnel and I got the call and I had to go all the way and turn around and go back into the tunnel but now I'm close again so yeah we had the deal that he was gonna or someone is gonna call me 30 minutes before they arrive because of course I don't live there and I wasn't gonna wait in the rain all day. 
but now he was suddenly there so gotta hurry up but he was okay with waiting for a few minutes because I can't really explain it on the phone where I want it because the chance that he'll miss the correct spot is pretty big then but could have been <laughs> going better oh, okay let's go there this is it first time that you see it okay so someone here helped that man with the truck <laughs> place the things where they need to be i haven't seen it yet because they also helped me gather some stuff that i can borrow from them to help get the poles in their place so then i don't need to rent those materials which saves some money so that's very nice and he also said that's way easier i was hoping to rent an automatic drill for in the ground but he said with the clay with the clay here that's uh, you shouldn't try it it's better to just get it in there by force so i've come back to my car i'm gonna drive up there get the stuff that i can borrow from them and then go show you the place finally so here we go on my way to the place i'm assuming that that isn't from the company oh it is shit <laughs> sorry Casper assured me that they would be gone already but apparently he wasn't let me talk to him yes <laughs> the delivery is here the driver got stuck right here but now he's finally <laughs> done out of it it's raining as you can see the water oh it's going to turn into a hail oh <laughs> yeah this is life i've started with counting the meters of the place this distance is 57 meters long and i'm gonna have to go 88 meters that way to get the 5000 square meters that i have in the contract in the rain <laughs> welcome to holland yeah let's just do that <laughs> so i parked it here put it on zero again and we're just gonna walk until it says 88 here we go very nice little tool that I was able to loan or borrow from my boyfriend's work. <sighs> 17, 18, 19. But this is the location. 7, 88. <laughs> All right. So from my car until here. So let me place a hole here first pole and maybe before it goes over in the ring this is the spot let me get a pole it stopped raining but my microphone <laughs> shut down because of it i might just do a voiceover but i want to show you the place a little bit so that is where it will end and then here it goes up about a meter. A meter is a big step. And then this part. Initially, the plan was this, and then until it goes lower, and then that way. But there are grapes there, those plants. So, oh, no, they're over there. <laughs> so we're just gonna do it like this, because otherwise they'll have to get rid of those, and it's fine. This will probably be the drier area. This will probably be the wetter area, but it has been raining pretty much nonstop for the last few days. And it is a little wet, but that's a really low spot. And this is the rest of it. So it's, it is doable. And I will use mud grid or whatever place on there so it won't get that wet then over here we will eventually have a dike <laughs> a hill where they can also walk on and then on this side also a path on the 
side of the hill so that they can um, stand out of the wind because there is a lot of wind here. And then here will be the arena. It's crazy that it's all turning into reality now. And it's crazy that it feels so big. But that's okay. Uh, I was a bit impatient, <laughs> but let's see how far we can get today. I also feel like it's way too high, I could have gone for lower ones, but... So this was the first one, and I placed a whole row. You can see that the second one I placed <laughs> is far up. These ones are all in a row. You can't even see the last pole, there it is, that I based it on. <laughs> and this one needs to go out again. This first one I still have to push in there, but it's very hard work all by myself but let's see if i can do it my goal is to also place three on that side of the middle pole and then i'll be happy for today and see what else i can do but for now at least it's very clear what is and isn't our place that's nice very pleased <laughs> with that row of poles. Look, they're all in a straight line except that one. But I'm very proud of myself. Okay, I put it back. This is where it was. <laughs> this is where it's now. Now it's in a straight line. And that way too. So I'm gonna bring this back to the beginning and see what else I have energy for today. So here it is, the path to the barn and then to this line of falls. That will be the paradise, the pedal paradise, our little paradise. Well, I did it. I have a pedal paradise can't really call it that yet but I am looking at what will be my dreams coming true give me goosebumps so very very exciting yeah because of the rain I didn't really film any of the actual working and because of the wind as well because of course I could place my tripod there but it's raining right now as well so I found shelter in my car yeah thank you for watching my dreams coming true in this first vlog of the whole building everything it was a day of waiting a lot and then chaos because apparently they were suddenly here then the person was stuck in the mud and then I could finally in the rain <laughs> place some poles. I have placed eight poles. That is enough for today. It's gonna rain more now. So I'll um, bring back the stuff that I bought from here, talk about what I've done, see if they, if we have the same place in mind. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go home and yeah, take some well needed rest. Tomorrow I think I might be alone again, but I hope I might get some help because it's a lot that needs to be done uh, pushing the poles in the ground is easier than i thought because it, the the clay is just so soft that you can almost push it in by yourself but this one helps a lot and i got advice to not use the electric one but just a simple uh, ground it's not really a drill and that was right, because every two turns I would have to pick out the clay with my hands, which is why they are grey now. But I was smart and took gloves with me. 
And this one was also very helpful to measure the distances between the poles because they are from this angle they also look very nice like the proportions of the space between them so all in all a very successful day a very good start and it is just the start so i'm not gonna push myself i am very tempted to push myself to do more but it is just the start i'm not gonna push myself i'll be here tomorrow and the day after that and then on saturday i have a lot of help but thursday i also have some help and Sunday we can even finish some things in the morning and then move them later on the day. Um, but it's mostly just pushing in poles, connecting the wires between them. Uh, they will arrive at my house tomorrow or the day after. That's basically it. And then it's a good enough basic for the horses to come. So I'll just finish this up, clean it up and see you tomorrow or like next week for you but tomorrow for me <laughs> bye and in the evening my boyfriend decided to come over and help me a little bit so it was very nice to share this first day with him my sh first moment of having this place we knocked in a lot of posts together especially around the hay storage so very grateful we were able to do that together once again thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you in the next vlogs where you will see how this paradise is going to look like <laughs> bye